Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at investment markets. A really very interesting and volatile week in the, uh, in the equity markets, especially in the US. Uh, you know, it's sort of quite interesting to note that, uh, you know, uh, back in November 2016, when uh, President Trump was, uh, won, the, won the election, uh, the Dow Jones was around 18,300. Um, when it started to fall in the last sort of 10 days, it was clear just around 27,000. Um, that's over a 30% increase. Uh, with no really sort of meaningful pullback either. And, you know, the market was certainly looking for a pullback. We just hadn't really seen it. Um, you know, and the problem was it sort of came in sort of two to three days, rather than spread over a normal sort of period, which is maybe sort of three to five months. You know, but again, you know, if you really look at the fundamentals, certainly on the, the U.S. economy, you've got a good, uh, sustainable growth. You've got very low unemployment. You've still got low interest rates, even with the Fed looking to increase rates by maybe three times this year. That'll still only take the sort of uh, Fed funds rate to around sort of 2.25. The issue has uh, you know, really been inflation, um, and the market was maybe a little bit spooked by the sort of 2.9 uh, uh, wage cost inflation coming through in the US on the latest uh, jobs data. Um, really waiting to see if that's going to be confirmed with the CPI and PPI this week. You know, but certainly the US market did need a pullback. Um, I said, you know, the problem was we got it in sort of two to three days. Um, you know, rather than spread over a sort of normal period of maybe three to five months. Um, but I say, you know, sort of fundamentally, market still looks in pretty good shape um, and really was quite interesting on Saturday New Zealand time when the market was pretty much on its knees and sort of begging for mercy um, through some pretty key levels, especially the 200 day moving average. And the sellers really couldn't get the job done and couldn't get the market closed down there. Uh, really sort of dried up and buyers uh, appeared pretty quickly and you had a near 400 point rally in the space of uh, around sort of 30, 40 minutes. That maybe tells you a little bit about the sort of psyche of the market that, you know, the sellers had the market on the run a little bit um, in, in the sort of early days. But, you know, when you really get down to some really key major technical levels, um, the fundamentals just didn't stack up to take the market lower on valuations. Um, and uh, you say, you know, buyers appeared pretty quickly. But more importantly, the sellers realized that uh, maybe they were sort of uh, on, a, on a sort of dead horse and uh, turned around pretty quickly. Now, while I'm not suggesting that uh, you know the, the, the volatility is over, um, you know it is uh, again sort of noticeable that uh, there were a few sort of exchange traded products that were uh, based on sort of very low volatility, and again they sort of came to fruition and forced sort of uh, some liquidation out there. There was a lot of talk as well about a little bit of uh, trading on the of sort of uh, cryptocurrencies on margin, and uh, you know they were falling. So again, people needed to uh, cover their margin calls, and they go to the areas of where there's reasonable liquidity, which is normally stocks, bonds, and currencies. But say, so, you know, the outlook for, uh, um, for the US economy is still pretty good. You've got good growth, um, you've got uh, very low unemployment, you've still got low rates, and you're still yet to really see the implications of the, uh, the tax reforms kicking through they won't kick through for the uh, individual until sort of April or May time. Also as well, you know, corporate earnings are still pretty good in the US. Obviously that had a, you really, you know, the, the sort of sell-off in the US really had a major spillover into global equity markets and New Zealand wasn't exempt. Shelter a little bit the fact we had the whole day on uh, um, February the 6th, um, which did sort of uh, shelter the New Zealand markets a little bit. 
But again, you know, market needed a pullback, and uh, you know, we've, we've certainly seen that in the last uh, last few days. Reserve Bank, as expected, left rates unchanged. You know, and the outlook was still for rates to be on hold for uh, 2018, and maybe not seeing an increase until sort of mid to late to 2019. Um, that could maybe be put to the test because uh, uh, sort of if you're looking at it by June, rates will be uh, higher in the US than they were than they are in New Zealand. That'll obviously put a little bit of pressure on the currency, and it'll just be very interesting to see uh, what the reaction, if any, from the Reserve Bank will be. Also, remember by then we'll have a new Reserve Bank governor. Adrian Orr would have taken over, and again, say it's just going to be interesting to see how he sort of shapes the Reserve Bank. Well, as well, under a little bit of pressure there, you know, back through that sort of sixty dollars, um, you know, obviously market turmoil, potentially sort of global slowdown. But interesting as well, the uh, the rig count in the U.S. has started to increase. You know, as you've seen that oil price uh, rise, some of these shell uh, um, rigs are coming back online. Um, and that is maybe just put a little bit of pressure out there on the supply side. Uh, Brexit's still sort of mumbling along, uh, you know, Theresa May is sort of trying to uh, really galvanise her party and, uh, and get a sort of unified front going forward. Um, you know, that, that's really pretty key, one for the negotiations, but also to get a, a sort of finite sort of package put together that can be then ratified by not just the UK Parliament, but also the European Parliament as well. To sum up, uh, you know, US equities, yes, they did need a bit of a pullback. Um, the issue was you saw that pullback in, uh, you know, say, sort of two to three days rather than sort of three to five months. Uh, the outlook still looks pretty good for, uh, for uh, US equities. Um, you know, and if you expect the market, well, not, it's certainly not going to uh, um, just sort of fall back into line and go back to that sort of very low uh, volatility environment. Um, you know, maybe the, the market did need a bit of a shake up, certainly need a bit of a correction. Um, a lot of uh, um, professional investors out there, fund managers, were looking for opportunities to buy and put some money to work. But you know, just uh, we're just a little bit concerned about the valuations. Um, with the pullback you've seen around sort of ten percent now, um, I think you know there's, there's sort of plenty of money sitting on the sidelines that is now going to look to be deployed over the next sort of two to three months.